Hello, everyone. Till now, what we have discussed is the uh, finite state machines that has no output. So in today's lecture, we will start with the finite state machines which have the outputs. So what we have studied so far is the DFA, deterministic finite automata. And then we have studied about the NFA, which is the non-deterministic finite automata. And we have also studied about the epsilon NFA, which is the epsilon non-deterministic finite automata. Now, all these things have been defined by the five tuples, means set of all states, set of input alphabets, initial state, set of final states, and transition function del. So NFA is also defined by this, DFA is also defined by this, and epsilon NFA is also defined by this. If we differentiate between the three, what we can say that in the in the uh, DFA, the transition function del is defined as Q cross sigma maps to exactly one state in Q. It means if I take the the all the states and take its cross product with the input alphabet, so this actually means a transition and that leads us to one of the states in Q. In the NFA. The Q cross sigma maps to one of the states in 2 raised to the power Q. And the multiple transitions are also allowed or multiple transition with the same symbol is allowed in the NFA. But it is not allowed in the DFA. In the DFA, it is definite that by taking a one symbol, I will move to one of the states only. But in the NFA, it is allowed to move to more than one state. Or it is also allowed that the, in the NFA, there is no transition from one of the state with the given symbol. And the epsilon NFA is defined as Q cross sigma union epsilon. And this maps to one of the states in 2 raised to the power Q. Now, here we can say that apart from all the input symbols that we have been given in the sigma, Epsilon is also treated as the input symbol. And we can map to any of the states in 2 raised to the power Q if we are taking the cross product of all the states with the sigma cross, sigma union, epsilon. So in these, in these automata that we have studied, there is no output associated with the states. But there are the automata wherein the outputs are associated with the states. Uh, outputs are associated with the machine. So there are two machines. One is the Mealy machine and the other one is the Moore machine. Sometimes we call it as Moore machine also. So M -O -O -R -E, Moore machine or Moore machine. In the Mealy machine, the output is associated with the transitions. And in the Moore machine, the outputs are associated with the states. So these are the two automata or finite automata with the output. DFA, NFA and epsilon NFA are the finite automata without output. So from today, we are going to study about the Mealy machine and the Moore machine, which are the finite automata with the output. So let's see one of the uh, finite automata wherein the outputs are associated with the machine. So let's say I have a state Q0 and I have the symbol A and when I get a symbol A, I remain at state number Q0 and I produce the output 1. So if I'm writing like this, A oblique 1, it means that A is the input symbol and 1 is the output symbol. Okay. Similarly, if I get a B at state Q0, I produce an output 0 and I move to the state Q1. In the Q1 state, if I get a B, I remain at Q1 state only and produce the output 0. And if I get an out input A, then I produce the output 1 and I go to state number Q0. So this is the finite automata with the output, wherein the output is associated with every transition. So this is the Mealy machine. This is the 
mealy machine fine in the if in the mealy machine the outputs are associated with the transition that we have to remember and then let's see a moore machine or the moore machine in the moore machine the outputs are associated with the states so for example if i have the state q0 then the output 1 is associated let's say with the state and i have a state q1 also and the output associated with the state is let's say 0 so if i get a i let's say i remain at state number q1 q0 and then if i get a b i move to state number q1 if i get a b in q1 i remain at q1 state and if i get a a then i move to state q0 so this is the mealy machine and the other one that we just have designed is the moore machine so in the mealy machine the the outputs are associated with the transition and in the moore machine the outputs are associated with the states so now let's formally define the mealy machine and the moore machine so mealy machine is defined by six tuples so those six tuples are set of all states input alphabet set initial state okay i just forgot to mention the initial state in both of these so those will be q0 so initial state then after this the transition function so these four are same as what we have done in the nfa epsilon nfa and the dfa but there are two more things associated with the mealy and the moore machine one of them is the output alphabet set that is delta and the output function lambda okay so apart from four things that we were taking in the nfa and the dfa there are two extra things that we are taking that is delta and lambda so delta is the output symbol set of output symbols and the lambda is the output function lambda is the output function now you can also see that in the mealy machine we are not defining or we are not taking any state as the final state so that is also the difference between the nfa dfa and epsilon nfa and the mealy and the moore machine wherein we are saying that the final states are not defined so the dfa nfa and all those things used to be the five tuples wherein the set of final state was also there so but we are not taking the set of final states here in the mealy machine and the moore machine so this is the definition of the mealy machine and let's say that we have to define the delta which is the output symbol and the output function as well now this is the given diagram which is actually showing the mealy machine and in this we can say that if i take a symbol if if i take a symbol let's say 0 and i am at a state q0 then i will map to i will i will, I will actually produce the output 0 and the uh, sorry 0 is not the input uh, a or b can be the input so let's say i am taking a and i am at a state q0 then i will produce the output 1 if i take the symbol b and i am at the q0 state then i will produce the output 0 you can see here also that if i am taking a symbol and i am at q0 state the output produces 1 if i am taking the output symbol b and i am at the q0 state the output produces 0 similarly if i am at the q1 state and i take an input a then i produce an output 1 similarly if i am taking b symbol in the q1 state the output produced is 0 so what we can say that the lambda which is the output function is defined as sigma means the set of input symbol cross q means set of all states maps to one of the output symbol so here the output symbols are 0 and 1 so here the output symbols are 0 and 1 so if i take the cross product of sigma and q so this maps to one of the states in output symbols or the set of the output symbol so for the mealy machine which is there on the left hand side what we can say that the set of all states are a and b i am actually defining the six tuples 
and then the set of input alphabets are a and b small a and small b then the inputs uh, or the initial state is uh, q0 only and then the transition function will define it in some time set of output alphabets are 0 and 1 because the output produced here is 0 or 1 fine and lambda will be the output function that we will define in a while so let's design the transition function so in the transition function the a and the b are the states we have to show the transition of a and b with the symbol a and b the small a and small b so you can see that q0 state on taking a alphabet small a remains at q sorry not a and b i will just i have just made a mistake please uh, be with me so q0 and q1 are the states here and similarly q0 and q1 states are here so q0 state on taking a symbol a small a remains at state number q0 and it produces the output one so i'm defining it like this and similarly q0 on taking a symbol b goes to state number q1 and it produces the output 0. q1 state on taking a symbol a goes to q0 states and it produces the output 1 and similarly q1 state by taking the input symbol b goes to q1 state and it produces the output 0 not b it is 0. So this is the transition table for the mealy machine which is also defining the transition uh, which is also design uh, design defining the uh, movement with the input alphabet so we are defining delta sorry del and lambda in the same table it means the del what is del del is the transition function and lambda is the output function so in the same diagram or sorry in the in the same table we are showing both the things the transition function and the output function also so here we have defined the mealy machine similarly let's de let's define the moon machine so you can see that this is the moon machine or we can write separately that will be better so let's say that we have the q0 state and in the q0 state the output associated is one and let's say I have the Q1 state and in the Q1 state, the output is zero. What we can say that if I get a symbol small a, I remain at Q0 state. If I get a symbol small b, I remain at uh, Q1 state. If I get a, I remain at, I, I go to Q0 state. And if I get a b, I go to Q1 state. So this is the Moon machine wherein the uh, output is associated with the with the states. Now, how do we define the moon machine? Moon machine is the sixth tuple. Q is the set of uh, all states. Input alphabet set uh, sigma. Set of initial sorry initial state only. So that is Q zero, and then the transition function, output alphabet set, and the output function. So here these things will remain the same as in the mealy machine so the only difference will be transition function delta and lambda so we will design the transition function and lambda using a table but what is the output alphabet set that is also same as there in the previous uh, mealy machine and that means the output alphabets are zero and the one the input alphabets are a and b and output alphabets are zero and one so here we are saying that A and B are the inputs. If I am at the Q0 state, which is the initial state, using A, I will remain at Q0 state. But I, if I get B, I will move to Q1 state. And if I am at the Q1 state, with A symbol, I will move to Q1, Q0 state. And using a symbol B, I will remain at Q1 state. Uh, Q1 state. Now here I'm design, defining the del, delta, which is the output alphabet. So with Q0, the alphabet associated is one output alphabet. And with Q1, output alphabet associated is zero. So this actually completes the delta and lambda both.
now how do we say how what what do we say about the lambda lambda here would be if i take the input alphabet and if i am at some state let's say q then it actually gives us any of the symbol from the delta it means it produces one of the output so if i take input symbol and if i take its cross product with the state it produces the output symbol because we will remain at we will go to one of the state that will be having an output so since the output are associated with the states this maps to delta it means the output alphabet so this way we have uh, defined the mealy machine and the mood machine let's do some transition out by taking some inputs let's say we have taken the input a a b b let's see what will be the output for this so i am at the q0 state obviously one will be output produced if i take a i go to state q0 only and one output will be produced if i take another a i will remain at q0 state and one output will be produced and then if i take a b i will go to q1 state and zero output will be produced now if i take again a b i will remain at q1 state and output zero is produced so what is the output the output is 1 1 1 0 0 0 what input i took i took the input a a and b b if i took the input a and b b the output produced is 1 1 1 0 0 it means if i take a four length string as an input five length string is produced as the output so n plus 1 if i take a n length string the output produced will be n plus one length i hope this is clear to you similarly if i take uh, some input the same input let's say in the mealy machine let's say this is the mealy machine if i take the input here as a a and b b let's see what output will be produced i'll say that uh, so i'm i will start my transition at q0 state if i get a output 1 is produced i remain at q0 if i get another a i will remain at q0 state and output 1 is produced with the transition if i get b from q0 i will move to q1 state but the output 0 is produced if i get another b i'll remain at q1 state only and output 0 is produced so what is the output produced this is 1 1 0 0 so with the input a a and b b the output produced is 1 1 0 0 i took a four length string and the output produced is four length it means if i take the n length string as an input the n length string is produced as the output in the mealy machine but on the contrary in the moore machine if i take a n length string as an input the n plus 1 length string is produced as the output so this is one of the difference between the mealy machine and the moore machine so we will continue with some of the examples in the subsequent lectures thanks for watching